Hey y'all, before we get to the actual video, I just wanted to insert a little something something here. Um, so first of all, it's late at night. It's almost 11 p.m. We're still at the office and I just, I really needed to get an update. Um, so we sat here and recorded this and, and we, we look like crap. It's the end of the day. Uh, Juju's hair is a mess. It looks like she hasn't brushed it in a week. She, uh, the light's coming in at a weird angle. You'll see Juju sitting behind me in the rest of the video. Um, but the, the way the light's hidden, it gives her like raccoon eyes and it, she looks like a zombie because she's sitting there staring at my phone through the whole thing. But I assure you she's good. She's not a zombie. Um, also, this, I know that looks really gross and I'm super sorry. Um, I smashed my finger in a, my truck door and it was locked. I... I, it was locked. I had to like rip it out of there. But anyway, I bruised my fingernail and I know that looks really, really gross. And you can see it in the video and I'm sorry uh, because I talk with my hands. Um, let's see. Yeah. Juju's eyes. Yeah. The, the sound quality is not super great because I didn't attach my microphone and we were sitting kind of far from the tripod with the, with the phone and stuff. And, um, yeah, update. We look like crap. Uh, it'll probably be Friday, her actual birthday before you see this. And, uh, the other, Hey y'all, it's been a while since I've updated, and I bet you're thinking, oh, they went ahead and brought Bird back illegally, because everybody else is coming over, so that's why she hasn't put a video up, because she doesn't want us to know, uh, but that that's not true, that's <laughs> not what happened, um, Bird is still in Mexico, we are still here, and as tempting as it, as it is to, to bring him back the wrong way, we know that is not, that's not what we're supposed to do. It's not the right thing. We are wanting to raise our children to be honest and have integrity. And how can we raise them to be honest and have integrity if we ourselves are not honest and have integrity? So, Bird is still there. There has just not really been anything to update on. I've been kind of discouraged because it's been taking so long. I did get to go see Bird in June. Um, the girls haven't seen him since January, uh, but in June I got to make just a quick like three or four day trip down there, just me. Um, but it's gosh, it's been so long since the girls have seen him. Uh, sometimes it's we get I get discouraged, you know, and I'm, there's nothing new to report, there's nothing new to update, there's nothing interesting happen. We just get up, get ready, go to work, work all day long, come home, cook supper zone out in front of the TV for an hour or two, and then go to bed. And then get up, do the whole thing the next day, do it all over again. Uh, it's just, there's not a lot of report. And I just didn't feel like there was anything video worthy. And uh, anyway, so this is an update though, because something has changed. Uh, we are still believing that God is gonna, going to open a door of opportunity uh, for Bird to get his papers, uh, because that's what we, that's what we prayed for. I believe that I believe that two years before Bird even got arrested, that that was my prayer, and I believe that I heard God tell me yes. And so that's what we're believing for. But I've been looking at this like there's only two options: either stay here and wait it out, or sell everything, sell the house, so we have something to live on, and move to Mexico. But there is a third option that I had not considered because I was scared it wouldn't work. Um, uh, now, well, basically, we can go to Mexico and live while we wait for the papers. And, and I, mean, I know that seems like an obvious thing, but if I don't sell the house, how are we going to live? Because I don't know if you've seen the ratio, peso, the, whatever, the exchange rate uh, from pesos to dollars. I don't know if you've, if you've heard, but... The main reason why most people from other countries come here is because it's very difficult to earn any money over there. Uh, Bird, he was working six, seven days a week, um, you know, working like like in the jungle, in the elements. It was in the heat and the humidity and all the, the venomous snakes and creepy crawly things and literally working out in the jungle with a machete, um, you know, all day, every day. And he brought home 700 pesos. You know how many dollars that is? 35 $35 for a week's work. So we knew that he would not be able to support his family on that. I wouldn't be able to work down there because there's a lot of paperwork you got to go through and a lot of time, like you, you on your first uh, six months say you can't work and you, there's a lot of stuff. So um, anyway, basically like how would we live? 
And if we go over there, then I'm not here to make the payments on the house. So then we lose the house. And so I was thinking the only option is sell the house and move to Mexico or stay here and wait it out. But uh, I had about a two-hour meeting with my pastor on Monday. And I think we have a plan. And I really feel a peace about this. In my spirit, I just feel peace. Like, this is what we're supposed to do. Um, and if, you know, we have we have two main, like everybody, all of us, we have two main options in life. You can you can go your own way, and you decide what path you want to walk, or you make your own path, or you can go God's way, and you can go the direction God is pulling you. The difference is, and God has given us the freedom to choose. He gave Adam and Eve the freedom to choose. That's why they ate of the tree because <laughs> he's, he's giving us because if he has to, if we don't get to choose, then that means he has to force us to love him. And that's not real love. Like if, if I had to force her to love me, it wouldn't mean much, but she loves me because she chooses to love me and I choose to love her and our family. I choose to love bird. My video keeps cutting out. I don't know what's going on. I've had to redo it like so many times. So I'm just going to put all these little pieces together. So if I repeat something that I already said, please forgive me. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, so we have the freedom to choose. And so we can choose our own path and our own direction and what we want to do, what we think is the best idea. Or we can trust God. And even when we look crazy to everybody else, if God told us to do it, God will sustain that path. So you can choose your own way. You can decide what you think is best and forget what God says, but you have to sustain that. You will have to, to provide. You will have to sustain it. You'll have to, to, to make it work. But if you choose God's way, then God is the one that will sustain it. He will provide. He, he. So I would much rather go God's way and have God sustain my family than to go my own way and us have to do it all on our own. So, um, but I mean, look at Noah. Noah looked crazy, right? They didn't even know what rain was. And they're like, oh, oh, God told you to build a what? A giant boat because it's going to what rain? What's rain? Water's going to fall from the sky so much so that you need a giant boat? Yeah, right, Noah. Yeah, everybody thought Noah was crazy until it started pouring down rain. So, um, people might think I'm crazy, but, uh, anyway, it is kind of scary. Uh, it's kind of a little nervous, um, about exactly how it's all going to work because we're not able to sell the house right now. Uh, my grandpa had co-signed for my mom 20, almost 22 years ago. Um, and then me and Bird took over payments. Um, but the paperwork is all in my mom and my grandpa's name. My grandpa's already passed away. 20 something years ago, the paperwork wasn't done correctly on some things and certain things weren't notarized. And so it's a big mess. And we're kind of like, what do we do? We've been paying on this house for like almost 22 years, but the paperwork's not done right. And anyway, it's, it's a big mess. Um, so I'm kind of nervous about moving me and the girls down there without selling the house. And let's hope this works. But I truly believe that this is where God is leading us. And he will provide. He will provide open doors. Excuse me. He will provide opportunities for us. Now, we can't just sit on our butt and expect God to do all the work. But he's going to open the doors. He's going to create the paths and for us to walk down. Um, just like this job that I have right now. I know this was God. I know that God has provided this awesome job with an amazing friend that I can take my kids to work with me. I mean, uh, anyway, so... I want to go down God's path, and I believe that God is leading us to stay in Mexico while we wait for Bird's Papers, because let's say it takes two or three years. I don't want to wait over here without him for two or three years. I want to wait in Mexico. I want to be with my husband, and we're going to do the right thing, but we need we need to be together in the meantime. So uh, I'll go over all the details later of exactly how we're, we're, we're going to make this thing work, exactly how we're going to get income. Um, um, if y'all have any ideas uh, or know of anything, uh, I am totally open to like an online job. Uh, I don't have any degrees. Um, I can type fairly well. Uh, I, I've been like a property manager for a year and a half now. And so I've learned a lot in the past year and a half. Uh, anyway, if y'all have any ideas on 
some kind of online work I can do to get at least decent money, even just a couple of hundred dollars a week. Um, you put it in the comments. <laughs> Let me know because I'm looking. And I, there's a lot of people that say, uh, oh, yeah, online work. You can do this and do this and make big money. But how do you actually do it? Like, do you go apply? Like, I, I, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. But I plan to do some kind of work online. And, well, I'm trying to get into the details, and I'm, I'm, I'll do that later. I'll give you details later once I have it figured out what we're doing. Long story short, me and the girls in a couple of months, we're going to head to Mexico. Whether the house is sold or not, whether the house ever sells or not. Um, and we're going to wait there with Bird. And uh, we're going to spend about half the year over there, and then the other half of the year up here. And I'll come back up in the summertime and uh, work and save as much of that as possible. So, anyway... That's my update. That's about it. Um, are you sleeping? Did I tell y'all it's her birthday yet on this video? I don't remember if I did. This tomorrow is her birthday. Squishy cheeks. Um, I don't know if I've said it in this video or not, but I'll just go ahead and say it again anyway. <laughs> tomorrow is her eighth. Well, would you look at that? My camera just cut off again. Tomorrow is her eighth birthday, but it is her first birthday without daddy. Last year at this time, we were in Mexico. So her seventh birthday was with daddy in Mexico, but this is the first birthday she's ever going to have, she's ever had without daddy. And, uh, I believe it's going to be the last, right? The last one. What? It's going to be the last birthday without daddy. It's the first, but it'll be the last one. Hopefully it won't ever happen again. Uh, but anyway, she's, she's been having a tough time emotionally lately, uh, because of that. Her birthday's coming up and daddy's not here. Um, but anyway, uh, we're getting through it. I appreciate all y'all's love and support. Y'all are just, most of y'all are super awesome. I say most because there's a few people that are jerks in the comments. I have try not to let, you know, one out of a hundred comments. There's a hundred comments on there and one of them's negative. And it, man, it just hurts because people are jerks. Especially when it comes to talking crap about my family. Saying horrible things about my family. About my kids. About you know, my marriage, it just, it hurts, but, and I try not to let it bother me, especially with so much other support, y'all are awesome, I appreciate all the kind words, all the prayers, all the love, all the support, I appreciate y'all, um, anyway, I guess that's about it, I'm just kind of rambling right now, I'm, I'm trying not to go into a lot of detail about what we're going to do, because I'm going to have that in an organized video, I'm going to try, I have an organized video about it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try to start putting up more videos. I apologize that I've gone so long. But uh, the new update is nothing changed at all until this week. And now we've decided, you know what? We're moving to Mexico and we're just going to wait in Mexico with Bird until he gets his papers. We are still believing that God is going to open that door for us to walk through and get his papers. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Be blessed. Thank you.